Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick, we're on the Atari 2600 and we're looking at a rather classic game here called Berserk, published by Atari in 1982 and I believe based on the arcade coin up from Stern Electronics in 1980. Now, it's a quite classic basic maze game. Uh, there's different levels of play that do different things but we'll stick it on one. You control a stick man going around a maze trying to avoid uh, robots and the further you get well, the more points you get. There will be occasionally a character called Evil Otto if you hang around that will actually try and kill you. So here we are. I'm that orange guy. I don't think the uh, yellow robots on the first level actually attack you. Now, it's got classic sounds on this that only the Atari 2600 could uh, produce. And I really, really love the gameplay on this one. We've reviewed it once before, but I thought it was worth a revisit. Because I was um, playing it via an emulation by a web-based thing, which I don't think was 100% accurate. So now we have it a bit more accurate, although it might be very, very similar. Away we go. So quite basic colours on this. It's always going to be a blue maze. It never changes. The stick man is always orange, but the robots do change colour. And as a kid, that would have fascinate, fascinated me to see what robots are next. Now, you don't need to kill all, all the robots in each maze. You just need to survive and don't get shot by them. That's the main thing. Right, some these ones are firing quite slowly. Our exits quite often are more... Oh, we can do a diagonal shot. I didn't know that. Our exits are quite often are more than one. Don't it makes it too much of a difference which one we go off. And if they touch you, you get shot. You get electrified to death. Green robots here. Excellent stuff. Let's manoeuvre around and see how far we could get. So if, if I'd owned this back in the day, I would have played it absolutely heaps. Early 80s, my favourite era for retro gaming. It's an 8-bit classic. Game also come out on various other systems. I reviewed ZX Berserk on the ZX Spectrum, programmed in BASIC. But one of my favourites on the ZX Spectrum is a sort of a take on this. They've uh, Instead of the Stickman, they've brought in Horace uh, with Horace and the Robot. So check that one out if you want to. Good, good stuff. Very addictive this. It's a sort of game that's basic enough, but I could be playing it for quite a lot of um, hours. Fair enough. And uh, uh, the controls um, are very obvious. Just up, down, left and right, really, and fire. And that's pretty much it. So no need to read the instructions. You just zip away and play. Now, the Evil Otto doesn't seem to be turning up so far if I'm hanging around. Maybe we have to do that on a different level. So I will practice with some of the other ones. It's like there's 12 different levels of play on this. This is level one. Uno. Oh, blue robots. That's good. Okay. So, yeah, it is just a question of survive as long as you possibly can. It's tearing up a bit of the graphics on the maze sometimes. Sometimes you get a black line going vertically up there. You can see it a little bit there on the bottom left. I've been electrified again, and it's Doomsville. 2,440 points. That's not bad, is it? I do like the graphics on those robots. That's classic sci-fi, that is. Um, I iconic. If you saw that graphic, it would immediately take you back to th these sort of times. Right, so the yellow ones aren't shooting at us at all. But I've just walked into one, and that means instant death. Oh, dear. Good, good. I'm li liking these um, earlier systems there. The first computer I had was a rubber keyed 48k Spectrum. And the Atari 2600 was a little bit before um, uh, that, but not by a great deal. It would have been the system immediately uh, before if I'd been maybe one or two years older. But um, I am getting the, the same sort of like vibe, the same sort of retro buzz off this. Uh, a nice wooden computer. Um, one of my friends did own one of these. I think mainly his dad must have uh, got it, but I don't think he owned uh, this game. Oh, I got for it. He had, he had a few Pac-Man games, I think, for it. I, I don't think it was a 2600, actually. It might be one of the ones afterwards. Right. Stick Man Crazy. It moves quite well, doesn't it? There's no flickering or anything uh, like that. Now, the robots, if they bump into the walls, they will die. Similarly, the same thing will happen to us. So try not to do that. But quite often, it's uh, tough to avoid doing so if you're in a tricky situation. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. If you've played it since, well, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, it'd be very hard to convince a kid nowadays uh, to play this one, because, uh, as I say, it is of a time, hasn't aged particularly well. But, uh, you know, um, if you're a similar age to me, you would have lived in a revolution of gaming, and it's these sort of uh, games where things sort of, like, started. If you compare it to the modern-day Doom games, where you go around amazed to this, then, you know, uh, absolutely incredible. I wouldn't change it for the world, and it is, it is nice to play. 
Right, so let's, should we try some other modes on this, or should we just go in again? Let's try Let's try level 12, which it goes up to. Let's see what the difference in gameplay is there. Is it marginal, or is there any difference? Well, this looks quite similar so far. Yellow robots not firing back at us. If you are a yellow robot, then comment below. <laughs> My favourite yellow robot is in Manic Minor on the Zealot Trek from the very first ca um, screen called uh, the First Cavern, or Central Cavern, I think. Right, um, hmm. Yeah, I think uh, all that level 12 is doing is we've selected robots that don't seem to want to fire back. They just watch me amber along their maze without doing anything. So this is just like a trainer then, I suppose. Level 12 is a trainer. I wanted to, there must be a, there must be a mode where we can get um, Evil Otto to uh, show up. He's like a bouncing ball which will follow you and that does add an extra dimension to the game. He was certainly in the arcade, so hopefully he's in this version as well. I believe he is, but we just need to find the fellow. If you like him watching the uh, channel and you haven't done so far, please consider subscribing. It's all uh, nice and friendly. I tend to answer most of the comments there in the comment section. Well, if I understand them. It's all about sharing memories, easing a bit of stress really, and having a bit of fun. Occasionally uh, live streams will go up if you want a bit of live interaction as we play the games as well. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent. Don't take yourself too seriously, really. It's all about the fun. Right, so let's see. There's level one, which we've done. Um, should we do that again, or should we just try another one and try and find some other stuff that's uh, going on? I'm not sure if there's a limit of how many robots there are on the screen each time. We'll do, we'll do level one again. I do like that diagonal one. I mean, I think when I played this before, I didn't know you could do a diagonal shot. The robot certainly can't do a diagonal shot. So we should use that advantage uh, the best we can to try and amass a super massive score. Right, boom, boom. I would have liked to... This is a... a, a um, well, it's pushing it a bit. I would like to see the mazes change colour every now and again. I'm sure the Atari 2600 could have done that. Maybe a different colour stick man, but it's it's iconic really. If you see a screenshot of this, you know what game uh, is there. I think there were a few clones about doing different um, things. Um, you could you could argue that games like this were the forerunners. I said Doom before, but the forerunners for games like Gauntlet, where again you was in a maze uh, being chased by certain things that come after you. Put your favourite maze game below if you've actually got one. Um, I've played most of them on the ZX Spectrum. Ones like Maziacs was pretty good as well. And uh, 3D Chase or Monster Monster Maze, I think. Now, the, the robots seem to be committing suicide there, which is quite useful. Wouldn't mind to see some Daleks going around or other aliens. Kaboom! Right, so back in the day where there was no DLCs, nothing to download, you just turned on your computer or your console and the game was there ready in a, in a cartridge form in terms of this. I've been fried. We're frying tonight. Ooh, let's get round here. Good, good. So I hope you're feeling a little bit relaxed as we play this, despite we get electrified every now and again. So there's, there's uh, what I can make out, there's green robots, there's blue robots, yellow, white, and a sort of like a, a purpley colour one that turn out all purpley or red. And that's it. The mazes um, are supposed to be uh, random. I'm, I'm trying to see if they're repeating to any degree. It doesn't make any difference which um, place you go off the screen, because it just randomly generates each time. So it's individual screens, just like a teleport it might as well be. So if you go off on the left, you don't necessarily appear on the right in the next um, screen. Beebly beeb. Although I did there, just for argument. But there's no, there's no gateway to go back. Oh, I felt that. So I think this is our last life as we attack these, these pink purpley sort of uh, robots. They're always the same, although a different colour. Something's up with our AI, because they walk into electrified wall. They will explode. That's not something that I would try to do. Oops, yeah, in, in the back there. I saw that coming. I've been killed by purple. Well, I thought that was my last life then. Let's get sneaky when the yellow ones start shooting at us, and we're dead again. Right, okay, so we really want to bring Evil Otto into the situation. Let's do level two, see if Evil Otto does turn up. He's a bouncing ball, which will turn up if he thinks that you're dawdling or wasting time. Right, can't see him as of yet, so perhaps, perhaps he doesn't appear on level two. Whoops! Ah, oh, man. Gradu Normally on my gameplays, I get gradually worse as I go along. It looks like uh, we're having the same sort of thing here. I try and see the uh, the good in... Oh, there he is. There's Evil Otto. 
I try to see the good in, in, in most games. It's sometimes harder than absolute stinkers, but you have to have to admit, uh, as I say, it hasn't aged particularly well this game, but it is an absolute classic. Influenced a lot of games. Otto can go through walls. He doesn't get electrified at all. Yes. Right, come on. We ain't got to Oh no, that was that was a uh, that was a schoolboy error. I electrified myself. If you're ri randomly generated it in the middle of a load of robots, that can get a bit tricky as well. Yeah. Oh well. We need to find a let's have one last go. Let's have one last go. It's it's one of those games that's got a one last go factor about the thing. Yeah. There they are, the robots of doom. I don't know what their real names are. They're, they're not Cybermen. They remind me a little bit of Maximilian from The Black Hole, if you're aware of that film. Uh, that was by Disney before they bought Star Wars. It was in, in the 70s, but a real, a real uh, quite a dark film that is, The Black Hole for Disney. But I loved it. Um, I always wanted it to come out on Blu-ray, but I don't think it ever will. I think it came out on DVD, but I'd love to see it on Blu-ray. It'd be a great, a great transfer, that would be. Right. Keep an eye out for Bouncing Bull Otto, if indeed he does show up. 460 points. I don't know how they're working out these points. Um, I think you get points every time you shoot a robot, of course. I uh, don't think... Maybe you get an extra point when you um, clear a maze or get off there. As I say, you, you don't need to shoot all the robots to progress. There's Otto again. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Down we go. It will, it will focus on you, Otto. You've got to try and leave him behind. Kaboom, kaboom. Frame rate's okay on, on this sort of game. Atari 2600 wasn't working with a lot of memory, but I am impressed with the colour palette and can do quite a few colours, this machine. We'll, we'll call this the last go. Hope you've been reliving a few memories there. If popular, we'll, uh, we'll do another Atari 2600 next week. It's not popular at all, then yeah, no, I won't. We had a look at um, Enduro a couple of weeks ago, and last week was Donkey Kong, so we are looking at the uh, the big ones, the major ones. Oh dear, I, I'm going in some kind of death spiral now. Yeah, there we go, 1,400 points. Well, that's not that's not too shabby, is it? 1,400. That's a good little score that I have amassed. And I, I know I said that last one was my last goal, but I just want to squeeze in one more. You just you just feel you just feel that you can get that little bit further each time, don't you really? Right. I think um, a better thing to do is we try and uh, try and make friends with the robots. I'm not sure if you're maybe invading their maze in the first place. You're an interloper, and they're sort of like guards to prevent you from doing stuff. So I think possibly in this thing you are the uh, the bad guy. But as a kid, you know what could be better than one person against a series of robots? I was big into Doctor Who and running along corridors um, being chased by stuff is something that appealed to me as we get killed by Evil Otto again. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I've, I've done it again, haven't I? I, I? I promise you I won't be playing this for like 100 hours. But just just trying to get across how addictive this thing is. Yeah. Kids were easy please back then and I, I'm no different. I've, um, I haven't changed at all. To compare this to modern day games like GTA 5 and Fortnite and all those sorts of things, um, as I say, a kid would not be interested in this whatsoever, uh, but we would do. Nostalgia has a very, very, very strong buzz to it. Very strong pull. Do not estimate the power of nostalgia. Yeah, so I think, well, I will force myself now to end it, but it's a very addictive game. So, hope you liked having a look at that. I loved it. That was Berserk on the Atari 2600, published by Atari in 1982, and based on the coin-up from Stern Electronics in 1980. A really great maze game. Now, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, or any uh, memories, or anything similar, then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than, more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.